50% craftsmen and 50% artists. They like to think that it's 100% craft, but there there is some artistry involved, even if it means putting a pen onto paper or whatever. I like Russian prison tattoos because it's uh, and any prison tattoo, Mexican, uh, South African, Portuguese, uh, American, South American. It's all real feeling behind it, like the people and uh, the style. The aesthetic is what I like the most, simple and straightforward. And I think that with tattoos you can be uh, irreverent and uh, also sacred and, you know, tattooing uses lots of symbology and uh, I like to play around with those things. I mean, always uh, religious art and icons have always been really um, interesting because they're, you know, they're timeless and very effective, powerful imagery. But it's like always yin yang things, you know. There's always the good and the evil. And... Yeah. Okay, we have to look at that thing, yeah? Yeah. They're really nice. Yeah. Love, love it. Them, love it, love it. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. My name's Lee. I live next door to the tattoo shop. Um, got like a big ship by Liam there on my chest. Um, he's done a few on my arms here. Is it kind of a trend right now? It seems to be. Yeah, especially down in London. Maybe it's not in the northeast, but it is down here. You know, when you have people with lots of tattoos there in East London, and they when they go to another side of London, then it's not as accepted there. Uh, it's more an artistic, creative. Uh, quarter. One thing at the moment for me is the meditation that you can go into when making a tattoo. It's, you know, you get into a zone and you just, it's not, you know, the whole world can just uh, leave and you can, just, you know, be focused. It gives me a focus really. Otherwise, I don't know what I would be doing. I think the same with a lot of tattooers. I think they're all a little bit. Uh, twisted.